Hello everyone, welcome. This is a demo of platform line support for VMware vSphere functionality. So what I have in front of me is a platform line account um, and you notice that I have two KVM servers paired with it already. And you notice that I'm in the infrastructure dashboard um, and platform line gives me this overall view of all my capacity across compute, memory, storage, and networks, um, both at an aggregate level as well as at individual resource level. So I'm gonna go ahead and say add host, um, and I wanna show you just how easy it is to pair your existing vSphere resources with Platform 9, um, as simple as pairing your KVM resources. Right, so pairing your vSphere resources is a process of three simple steps. The first step is to download vSphere Gateway. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this is a gateway which is in OVA format. Um, once the download is finished, which should take about a minute or so, uh, we'll then copy it over to our vCenter environment and then deploy it there. So the download is finished now, um, and if we switch to our vSphere environment here, I have one vCenter server running, and it has one cluster with one ESX host and a certain amount of capacity uh, on that ESX host. So I'm gonna go ahead and invoke the deploy OVA workflow. I had the path configured in this workflow already, so I'm just gonna quickly follow the default steps for this workflow. Um, let's go ahead with all default options and let's get the appliance deployed. Um, this should take about a minute or so, but the appliance should get deployed, should get powered on, and then we should see a new notification in the platform line dashboard uh, regarding this vSphere resource. So let's just give it a minute. Okay, so it looks like the deploy of the appliance is just about to finish. Um, so now, if we go back to our Platform 9 interface, um, we should see the new resource appearing in the infrastructure dashboard. So we're in the infrastructure dashboard, and we notice that a new resource is awaiting our authorization now. So this is the vSphere gateway we just deployed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and authorize it. It's asking me now for my vCenter credentials. So um, let's see, my vSphere server's IP address is 10.4.145.139. So I'm going to enter it here. 5, 139. I'm going to enter the credentials. And I'm going to say authorize. And so what's happening now is we notice that this new resource is um, in the infrastructure grid and it's in the discovery mode. Um, what's going on here is that now that we've authorized this gateway, it's going ahead and registering itself with the vCenter server. It's also discovering all the inventory of resources that are running on vSphere. So switching back to vSphere, um, if we look at this one cluster, we notice that we have about 18 gigahertz of CPU capacity and some amount of memory and storage resources. Switching back to the Platform 9 view, once this discovery finishes in about a few seconds, we should notice that the infrastructure view updates and uh, some of these resources start showing up in Platform 9. So the discovery process is finished now and we notice that that one vSphere cluster is successfully discovered and reported by Platform 9 and it appears in the dashboard side by side with our KVM resources. And we notice the total compute, memory, and storage capacity being reported. Switching to the networks view, we notice the VM network uh, that's associated with our vSphere cluster is discovered and reported by Platform 9. Switching to the instances view, we notice that the five virtual machines that are running on this vSphere cluster are also successfully discovered and being reported. And you can actually do a number of lifecycle operations on these instances. So let's just select one of these VMs and say reboot. And what will happen now is the gateway will route this instruction to the vCenter server. Um, and, and we notice here that we've initiated a guest reboot on the MySQL server. So this should probably finish uh, in a few seconds or so. In the meantime, while we are in the vCenter view, um, Switching to the um, VMs and templates view, we notice that in addition to the five virtual machines running, we have one VM template on this vCenter server. In switching back to Platform 9, when I browse to the image catalog, uh, you notice that that one VM template is discovered 
and is being reported in platform 9. So what we do is the platform 9 gateway, once it's paired with the vCenter server, it discovers all the VM template images that are registered with that virtual center server and successfully reports them in the platform 9 private cloud. So switching to the instances view, um, let's go ahead and create a new instance now. So I'm going to select that one Windows template image that was just discovered. I'm going to apply a custom flavor to it. You can apply any flavor you like. Um, I'm going to select that VM network that was discovered. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say launch instance. Um, so we notice that the instance is scheduled for creation successfully. Uh, the instance is being built here. And switching back to the vCenter view, we see that a virtual machine creation is successfully completed and um, some disk reconfiguration is in process. So this was, um, in a nutshell, our vSphere technical preview functionality. For more information, please visit our website, www.platform9.com, or send us an email, info at platform9.com. Thank you very much.